Hello, this video is all about understanding bird behavioral aspect and then making some awesome images. Hi, I'm Sudhir Shuram, a wildlife photographer and a photography mentor where I've helped thousands of students become better photographers through my online photography courses. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you about how to study the behavioral aspect of birds and also as a part of understanding their behavior, how we need to plan to get amazing images. Now, in this video, the background about this is we were in Ranthambo Tiger Reserve waiting for the tiger which was inside the bushes beside the water body. Now, in the hot afternoon, we know that a lot of birds, they plan to take a dip in the water to basically cool themselves. And after they take a dip, if they are like water birds, then they go up in the uh, water and then they flap their wings to get it dry. Or if they are shore birds, then once they take a dip, they come out, they start preening themselves, cleaning themselves. So this video is about this specific behavioral aspect of the white broad wagtail. So let's jump right into the video where I've captured the complete behavioral aspect and also like as a part of this video while I'm recording the video at the same time I'll even shot those images. So I use a technology technique where at the same time I can shoot raw images and then even record the entire video sequence. So this is more from a teaching point of view where I do these kind of recordings. So if you look at the video, it will show you the various settings what I used to capture this, especially the autofocusing and also the exposure triangle parameters, you will see it at the bottom of the screen. So let's jump right into the video and once you watch the complete video, I'll come back and give you further information about how to shortlist the images, how to process the images and then how to finally conclude it. Let's get started. For the bird. I kept it in animal, I move it to bird. So since I'm shooting a lot of these birds here, I just want to make sure my bird I focus is on. So I generally check that and then from a component get onto that, get onto that. No. Look at how fast the tracking happens. No matter where the bird goes, you need to be fast enough track the birds Mr. the focus get it back so of course I'm in a vehicle the angle is obviously not that great it's a top-down approach i'm shooting but still wow all this behavior aspect especially in the afternoon when the sun is hot or rather when the weather is hot of course the sun is always hot so when the weather is hot the birds take a dip and then they do all this preening activity and you need to wait wait and get all this behavioral aspects and you've got to be really fast when that action happens. So I'm just shooting the 30 frames per second burst more of this white broad wagtail breathing itself absolutely beautiful so it goes back into the water again for a dip yep hi <laughs> okay it's Okay, bad angle for my camera. So, well, in the end, what happened is like the bird just exited from my frame and the angle of a gypsy, it was in not a favorable position where I could continue tracking it. Now, one thing which I have to tell about this particular video is generally when I shoot birds, I always love to shoot birds at eye level. But in this case, since you are at an angle sitting in the gypsy and top down approach, 
Honestly, like that is not some of my favorite positions or angle to shoot. But since I wanted to share my knowledge of photography with all of you, I said, let me do it and then go ahead and like uh, share, share this with all of you. Now, what happens in these kind of scenarios when there is action happening and you continue to shoot at 30 frames per second, you capture a lot of images. Now, the way I use the filtering process is like once I copy all these images into my laptop or in my computer, I use Adobe Bridge to go ahead and filter those images. Now here, if you see, I have shot all these like hundreds of images of the white broad wagtail where it was taking a dip in the water and then like after it took a dip, it came on the stone and started preening itself. But uh, if I keep going here, that particular set of images where it took a dip, I did not like it. Now, the kind of images which I like to shortlist is those where the eye contact is good, the overall angle of shooting which has to be at eye level, here it's not there but I'll live with it. And then the catch light has to be there, so a proper head turn, a proper catch light and then an amazing movement where the action is happening. So if I keep doing a next, 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 so here if you see in this, again the beak position is not great, the eye catch light is there but again the overall position is not great. The next one, it's an okay one. So next, next. So I want to capture those things where the preening is happening. Now it will be one of this. Let's keep going down. So here the feather details are good, but no, I want the completely fanned out detail. Let's see. So good catch light over there. Continue, continue. Let's go forward. Next, 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 next. Let's see. Okay, there you go. So this one is a good one where a good eye contact is there, a good catch light is available and also the feather nicely spread across its breathing. So this is one image which I would definitely like shortlist to process. Let's see what else we have. So of course, if you see that I already had opened this and did a little bit of processing. That is where the white balance is different com compared to the rest of the images what you have seen. Let's go next, next, next. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, this also would be another one which I would shortlist for my processing. Let's see, I know there have been hundreds of images I shot, even there are some amazing movements what I captured. Okay, look at this, wow. Now, this actually is really nice because the wings are spread. Let me go to the full frame. Uh, but one small issue here is the head turn. So the head turn is not parallel to the frame, but still uh, this is a beautiful image and I will definitely like short this, shortlist this for processing and uh, let's see next 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 let's see I'm sure like wow this again is a beautiful one this again is good wow okay this is really beautiful so let me just take this and uh, use this for my processing so this is how you shortlist the images just static the bird just sitting over there not great so any kind of action which is happening that is what you need to shortlist so let me open this so in Adobe Bridge I shortlist the images then do a right click open it in camera raw and the first thing what I do is like the profile I change it to Adobe Vivid uh, with a little bit of contrast and the colors it improves but here it's a very flat image obviously you will not be able to see that now once I do this uh, I may want to change the white balance a little so decrease the white balance to get the whites as white I think this is fine 5800 Kelvin that is generally I, what I love in this kind of uh, afternoons, this flat lighting. So exposure is fine. So let's zoom in a little and check the image, the details sharp, there's everything beautiful. So contrast, uh, I don't want to increase the contrast for this particular image. So highlights, let it be as it is because the details in the whites are seen. So I don't want to make any changes to the highlights. Shadow, I may want to bring up the details in the feathers a little bit. So shadows, I increase. Whites, blacks, uh, none of those things I would like to change. Uh, this is a very flat image with respect to the colors. So honestly, it doesn't make sense to increase the vibrancy of the image, the vibrance of the image. So I'll keep it as it is. Then I do a open. And uh, since I'm going to like add this particular image, for my video in this video at the end of it just to show you the image as to like the various ones captured uh, oh yeah this was a beautiful uh, paradise fly catcher what i captured it's a separate video what i have done okay so once i come to this uh, if we see the image dimension 
So this is the full resolution of the Alpha 1, the Sony Alpha 1. So now for me, the first thing what I do is I try to crop it. Now, if I'm doing a crop for Instagram, I have specific like aspect ratio what I've set for Instagram and then I crop it as for that. So this way I try to do the crop for composition. But since I'm doing this for YouTube, uh, let me get rid of this. And since this is a UHD Ultra HD video what I'm creating uh, for YouTube, the dimension is 3840. I think I already have that here in the crop. Yeah, there you go. So 3840 into 2160 pixels. So that is the dimension what I'm using. So let me just crop it a little as per the dimension. Uh, I think I'll just take this particular cropping, say OK. Let's see the full screen. Such a beautiful pose. And uh, then the next one is I go into the image levels, check the image for the level correction. Little bit, okay, the moment this pixel starts to appear, I stop there, that is adjustment for the highlights. Let's see the adjustment for the shadows. Uh, almost there, everything looks good. So again, adjusting the midtones doesn't make sense. I'll not do it, okay. Uh, next, I'm going to filter, sharpen. I'm going to do a smart sharpen, 120.30. This is good enough for me. This is my standard value. And generally, I do one round of noise reduction using neat image. So auto profile works well, adjust and then apply it. So there you go. So this is the final image and uh, on further analyzing the image on the back side, if you see a uh, little bit of distractions are there, I use the uh, spot uh, healing brush to get rid of that. Then probably a smaller area, that one. Yeah, I think this is fine. Like, so rest of the things, I'll keep it as it is. Finally, I do an edit, convert to profile. From Pro Photo RGB, I change it to sRGB, save it, and I save all the images into my local drive so that I can access it wherever I'm traveling. So everything goes to iCloud. Uh, so I have an, all the horizontal images, I have saved it here, it goes in and this image is now ready for posting which I will include it as a part of this video. So this is how you need to work on an image given the situation, understand about the bird animal behavioral aspect, stay with it continuously in burst mode when the action is happening you need to shoot and finally this is how you basically shortlist your images. All the rest of them I deleted. So hope this video helps. I'll be coming up with a lot more videos like this going forward where I share tips, behind the scene videos about how I actually shot it, what the scenario was, what the camera settings I used, how I executed it. So any other kind of video you want to know, you want to see from me, you want to like learn, please put it in the comment section below and I'm going to respond back to that and see if I can do that. Hope this helps. And if you want to learn photography from me, where you want to be a better photographer, then I have my online photography courses. And also we have one of the most acclaimed selling courses, which is the all courses plus exclusive add-on. The link is there in the description below. Go ahead, check it out and subscribe today and let me help you become a better photographer. Good luck.